good morning everybody how's everybody doing this morning it's a wonderful morning it's a great morning and you know it's a it's great when the holy spirit is always with you to speak to you sorry and to comfort you you know and last night i was yesterday late in the evening i was i was tested and it is it will happen i will be tested especially if i come out to speak about things like overcoming and over being an overcomer i will be tested okay and it's either for me to fail that test or to pass that test but i was tested in a way where it was a really strong test and you know i was tested about the same thing i think a few weeks back but i got it again today i came across a very very a very a video about me something about me that was placed on the social media and the person wrote terrible terrible lies about me lies that will if it had if it happens to you it will rile you up i am talking about lies that not even the devil will be able to make up it is so bad it is so bad and then i realized you know because when these things happen to you the first instinct you have is to get angry you will be angry you will be want to or you want to you know you just want to get you get vexed you want to get at them you want to oh god you want to you know but after a while especially if you're a child of god and you have the holy spirit strong in you like me i have the holy spirit very strong in me he will calm you down and try to talk to you and try to re to make you realize don't worry i am going to take care of this situation i am your god vengeance belongs to me okay calm down and god calmed me through the night but i was really really angry and what hurt me the most that this is the flesh and my own flesh and blood you know when god created lucifer okay I know God is a God of love and he's a wonderful God and I know he created everything out of love even Lucifer he even created Lucifer out of love but unfortunately Lucifer had three and maybe more but three very 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 evil things about him he had jealousy he had envy and he had pride Lucifer was very jealous very jealous of God's position Lucifer wanted to be better than God he had so much pride because he felt that he was the most beautiful angel in heaven he felt that he had the most wonderful powers and gifts and Lucifer was envious because Lucifer wanted to be like God when you find that you have these traits pride envy and jealousy you have to pray to God to take it out of you it is not a good trait to have it will devour your soul okay it will devour your soul and unfortunately this person who is my flesh and blood and the person that is concerning them has this for me because i don't understand the obsession i have never done anything wrong to these people but they have the obsession over my life and my family and the people that are concerning my life and i question myself why because i have not done these people anything more so i welcome this person into my life the person who's concerning my flesh and blood okay he brought this person into my life and i was the sister i was the only one to make this person feel invited into our family i was very nice to this person and this person fooled me fooled me but the people around me always warn me about this person the people who are concerning me people of my family would warn me of this person and tell me this person does something is wrong with that person 
something is wrong with that person but I always want to believe the best in people and I believe the best in her and I was fooled I was fooled and now I see my kindness has come back to hit me in the face so today and I'm very sorry about that I'm very sorry that that these people are coming to such a low level to bring themselves such to a low level a very low level I mean low classness in the highest degree to fabricate such lies fabricate such lies you know but I always say no weapons formed against me shall prosper no weapons no weapons formed against me shall prosper any tongue that rises up against me will be condemned will be condemned by God so this is what I know for a fact that when you do something wrong to somebody you dig a hole for them you most likely will fall into that hole but let us just put that aside now because I want to talk today about how the Lord hates an evil minded person I need to make this video because I think that I need to open up people's eyes to the fact that we do have evil in this world we do have evil and even though we don't want to admit it there is evil okay there is a devourer there is an enemy and he is Satan and he has come to kill steal and to destroy everything in his path we are not fighting against flesh and blood we are fighting against the prince of the evil spirits of the air in the heavenly realms that is a fight that is a war going on right there no, it's a spirit. that is what you call spiritual war you know spiritual war and people who are called by God to do his purpose to speak his word to share his word they will be attacked and this is what God has been trying the Holy Spirit has been trying to tell me I have been getting a lot of words from my prophets I have a prophet who gives me words and prophet of God and people who gives me words that warn me about Satan's attack on my life and I will be attacked but God will always protect me a thousand will fall at my side, ten thousand will fall beside me, but the evil will not touch me. This is my this is a promise from God. For he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. Okay? And it is very unfortunate that a lot of people don't have that kind of um spiritual knowledge of what how God works, you know. And I've always said it before, you know, and people don't listen. And then you write in things about people. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's very, very sad that you are spiritually weak. It is very sad that these people are spiritually weak. It is very sad that they believe that they could, something could come out of this. It will, nothing will come out of this. Only thing will come out of this is that you're going to fall very hard. You are going to fall hard. I cannot prevent it because you have already created the damage for yourself. You have already created that karma for yourself. And karma exists. What you give to the universe, you will get it back. What you give to the world, you will get it back. It's a law. It's the law of the universe. It's the law of the universe. So let's see what God says about people who are who are evil. What he I don't God doesn't he hates evil minded people. Proverbs 11, 20 to 32. So we're going to look at Proverbs 11, Proverbs chapter 11, 20 to 32. All right. The Lord, this, now the Lord detests men of perverse heart. The Lord detests men of perverse heart, but he delights in those whose ways are blameless. Be sure of this, the wicked will not go unpunished, but those who are righteous will go free. Like a gold ring in a pig's snout, a beautiful woman who shows no discretion. The desire of righteousness ends only in good, but the hope of the wicked only in wrath. One man gives freely yet gains ever, even more, another withholds unduly but comes to poverty a generous man would prosper he who refreshes others will himself be refreshed 
People curse the man who hoards grain, but blessing crowns him who is willing to sell. He who seeks good finds goodwill, but evil comes to him who searches for it. Evil comes to him who searches for it. Don't search for evil. It will come back to you. I, I pray, Holy Spirit of God, that you give these people and whoever wisdom to understand these things when you look for evil evil will come back to you whoever trusts in his riches will fall whoever trusts in his riches will fall but the righteous will thrive like a green leaf will strive like a green leaf yes he who brings trouble on his family will inherit only wind and the fool will be servant to the wise let me repeat that Proverbs 11, verses 29. He who brings trouble on his family will inherit only wind, and the fool will be given to the wise. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. If the righteous receive their due on it, how much more the ungodly and the sinner. And this is true. This is very true. We receive what is due to us. We are rewarded. If we give good, we get good back. We are rewarded good. If we give evil, we are rewarded evil. God doesn't want to give us evil. But if we want to get evil, we will be rewarded evil. Do you understand me? We will be rewarded evil. Okay, so this is something that you have to listen to. Now, this is going to be a very long video, so I am going to continue. All right, now, definition of an evil minded person. Definition of an evil minded person. You know what? This video, yeah, this could go on to 20 minutes, yeah. I could take it on to I think I could take it on to I've never taken it down to 20 minutes I'll try if it if it's too if it's too long I might have to cut it but let me continue definition of an evil-minded person all right evil-minded person having an evil disposition an evil-minded person is having an evil disposition or harmful malicious intentions an evil-minded person will always have harmful and malicious intentions Okay, now I will read a quote that I found when I was looking up, you know, I was studying about this whole thing. And I've read, I read a quote that I really like. Do not confuse a broken person for an evil person. Never confuse a broken person for an evil person. A broken person can be fixed, yes. An evil person cannot. An evil person is born to be evil. They have an they are an evil seed from the devil. Okay, a broken person can be fixed. An evil person cannot. An evil person causes pain. They hurt others. They deliberately cause chaos. They deliberately cause chaos. They love chaos. An evil person will always like trouble. They love trouble. They love chaos. It's just that's just how they are. A broken person would never do that. Any of these things because they know they would never do any of these things because they know how they feel on the other side of those actions because they got they were hurt too. Don't confuse someone who can be saved with someone who you have to be saved from. Don't confuse it. A lot of people confuse the fact that some people who have evil intentions all they were disturbed. No. Evil people are born evil. They are born evil. It is a curse. It's a seed. Okay? It's a seed. Unfortunately, there are ones that are chosen by God and there are ones that are by, used by the devil. It is a fact. It is a fact. And if these people are liar, you have to pray hard for them. Real hard. And sometimes they never change. They're not changing. Because they're born with that instilled in them. Evil-minded people are like that. All right. Now, how to spot an evil person? 
An evil person is an an evil person is an evil person. They are bad seed. They are a bad seed. The evil person is a bad seed directly from Satan. A curse of life. And no matter what you do, they will never change. You see? I just said it. Just said it. An evil person is evil. They are bad. They are a bad seed directly from Satan. A curse of life. And no matter what you do, they will never change. Evil people will see and notice a good person. Now, this is very good of an evil person. And this is how Satan works too. Satan works like this. The father of all lies works like this. Evil people will see and notice a good person from afar and will and will with no doubt use them as a punching bag. Because you see, they need to take out whatever evil on that good person. They will manipulate to get what they want and all of your attention. They want all of your attention and they want what they want from you. If you do not follow in their agenda, because they have agenda, evil people have an agenda. They always have an agenda. They will attack with full force to tear you down. So if you don't follow into the ways of an evil person, they will tear you down down you have to follow in their ways you have to follow in their manipulation because if you don't go their way boy dog eat your supper as they say the worst is our need the worst is our nature to try to see the good in everyone when we have a good nature we want to see the good in everyone like me i always want to see the good in everyone i am a person trying to look for the best in everyone but I realize and now you can't trust everybody you just can't trust people the worst is our nature to try to see the good in everyone can often make us blind to the evil that permeates from them we will be blind I was blind until I realized there was something not right there is something not right and that is when I cut myself away and because I cut myself away from this individual or these individuals honey they were out for me but I knew what was toxic for my life and I felt it oh I felt it they were attacking me they were attacking people concerning me I mean messages and they were just attacking okay pretending to be other people on YouTube to get at me it, it terrible 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 making up terrible I realized the best thing for me to do is to cut them out and because I cut that person out of my life these people out of my life Honey, they want to get me. They want to get me, but they cannot. A thousand will fall at my side, 10,000, but the evil will not touch me. They cannot touch me. It will go back to them. Whatever they're trying to put to me, to throw to me, it will go back to them. My God has already told me that and promised me that. Now, let me tell you, I'm going to go quickly because I don't want this to go too long. 12 warning signs of an evil person. 12, denying reality. They deny reality. They will make reality to suit them. Twist facts. They twist facts. They will make some, they will twist a fact and lie about any truth to make it look like a truth. And they will believe that they are talking the truth. Huh? An evil person believes in their truth, which is not the truth. Withholds information. Okay. They withhold information that will they would not have information out there that would take them down. They don't want information, so they will withhold every information, information that will that will bring them out as an evil person. Misleading people, they mislead people, mislead people. They lie constantly, because of course you know the father of all lies is the devil. Satan is the father of all lies. So anybody who lies constantly is a child of Satan. They lie so constantly that they believe their own lies they believe their own lies they are they are, they are remorseless they have no remorse whatsoever avoid responsibility for their actions again they avoid responsibility for their actions they will put that on someone else they will blame it on someone else manipulated very manipulated evil people are manipulated because they have an agenda and their agenda must be fulfilled Okay, just like the devil, Satan has an agenda. They will pretend to be your best friend, but wait for the stab in the back. They will be nice to you. This is what happened to me with these, this person. This person was sweet. I tell you, you would have fall for that. But the stab come in the back. Whoop. Un cuchillo por la espalda. Right? 
wants all your attention. They are, they are attention seekers. Evil people are attention seekers. They love attention. They want all your attention. Lead double lives and triple lives. Anytime you see a person leading double lives and triple lives and have different names and changing their names all the time and they don't use the name from their birth, they are evil. They have an agenda. It's all to do with their agenda. People like that lead double and triple lives. They change their names. They change, they change every they change the color here, they change their facial expression, they change everything. They are sick, sick-minded people, evil. Again, control freaks, they like to control you. If they can't control you, they will take you down. People, listen to me now. I want to finish this video because it's very long. The bottom line, the bottom line for you nice people out there who don't believe that there is evil people, okay, don't be naive anymore. Eh? Don't be like me. Don't be like me. I stop being naive. I'm going to start opening my eyes let God show me who is evil and who ain't evil. All right, the bottom line is beware of who you are surrounded by. It's better to be surrounded by two or three people or one person than to be surrounded by a set of snakes, you know. And there's plenty snakes around us, eh? We're surrounded by snakes. Watch who the snakes are in your life. Watch them good. Watch them good. People, bottom line is beware of whom you are surrounded by with and, and always love yourself enough to let go toxic people. Love yourself enough to let go toxic people. You don't need to be around toxic people because it's your brother, your sister, your mother, your father. Let them go. They will just destroy you. They will devour you. They are used by Satan to devour you. Guard your heart and your soul. The only friend you have is God. The only, the only true friend you have is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is your true friend. Okay? Pray for the people who you love. Pray for the people around you. But stay away from people who want to take you down and crush you. Alright? And people have to understand that no one wants to, be, wants to be around people who want to take them down and lie about them all the time. Okay? So I want to leave this with you. And I hope you have a great day and when you listen to what I say. Okay? And I will do another video on next day. See you later.